Hello and welcome to Road to Goaty 2019. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about Death Stranding now that I've completed it. There will be spoilers in this video. Uh, if you want a non-spoiler version of my thoughts, I think the game's story is one of the best of the year and think the game's gameplay is one of the worst of the year. We're going to get into it now, uh, but you have been warned about the spoilers. So, <clears throat> while it loads in, this is all off the cuff. I think that... Death Stranding, story-wise, again, maybe one of the best games of the year. It has some of the best characters. I love Heartman. I love Die Hard Man. I love Dead Man. Uh, Kojima names, what can you do? I love uh, Fragile. I, I kind of enjoy Higgs. I think that Higgs is a bit, you know, he's the particle and everything. But, like, I think Higgs is a little bit too much. Like, they didn't give enough of a reason for him to be crazy and just went all in on the we need a crazy character thing. Um, Lachna doesn't super work for me, but I get it. Like, I understand it. And the scene with Mama and Sam is a really powerful scene. And then I love Sam. I think Sam is great. I think Lou is great. Uh, Clifford is great. I think the story alone is worth seeing. I just don't know that the game is worth playing. So, I know that's a harsh statement. So let's let's get into that, right? We've I'm at in game. This is the this is the the final stretch here. <clears throat> I finished the game and and it loads you back in so you can just play around in the world. We'll do some deliveries here and and you can see what I mean. We're not really going to talk much more about spoilers in here, uh story-wise because I've already said my piece on that. I think it's really good. But uh, let's let's take a stand. I guess I never did the trial for the hemetic grenade. All right, let's take an order to. Wonder how far we can go. Let's take an order. We'll go ahead and just take an order to Port Knot. And that's that's a long distance order. Oh wait, are we currently in an order? We are. We're delivering tranquilizers. Oh, we can do both. It'd be fine. We can do both. Uh. This is my favorite part of the gameplay, honestly. Just working out what you want to bring with you and figuring out exactly how you want to bring it. That's the best part of this game, in my opinion. Just gearing up and then tackling the wilderness and trying to trying to go. I think I left a bike outside, but we're going to take another one just to be safe because I don't want it to not be there when we go back outside. Uh, yeah, load them up. Load them up. Gloves and everything, okay. I think the delivery gameplay can carry itself. I think the delivery, the delivery gameplay itself is fine. I think that having to overcome the challenge of the world, which, again, if you haven't seen anything about this game, uh, you should probably check the first impressions video first, but uh, I think all of that is enough to carry the game on its own, especially with how good the story is. I don't think it needed any of the combat, and I think the combat absolutely... Oh, I did have that bike out here still. Oh, well. See you later, bike. I think all of the combat absolutely drags this game down. I think the, the just general going places in this game is really fun. I actually really enjoy the traversal. Hope oh, we can get somebody to answer back to us. Uh, is there another one connected to that? Oh, yeah, there sure is. This is... Uh, this kind of destroys a lot of the challenge, but I mean, you earned it, right? You got to the end of the game. You've earned the right to, to send them. Oh, then we need another one in between. There you go. Take back what I said. You may have noticed that I grabbed uh, some PCC twos that so I could drop some zip lines as well. I will say as much as I think the, the basic gameplay is good because of the combat, I don't know that I will be playing this more. There's a part of me that kind of wants to uninstall this after we get done with this video. But uh, I did really like my time with this game. It's just that the combat is so unfortunate. And we'll get into that when hopefully we get attacked. I, hopefully, right? I don't really want to get attacked, but we will get attacked. No doubt in my mind. What's the distance to that one? 24. That doesn't really matter. We need one in between. That's all there is to it. I'm kind of worried there's not going to be one on the other side either, though. So we should probably just take the bike. I love having to manage your batteries, setting up generators to be able to deal with the, the 
increased cost in battery gauge as you go through water and things like that. I think that's all really cool. I do think that the vehicles are a really nice touch, and it's a lot of fun when you can drive straight with them. Most of the terrain in this game is not designed for vehicles to drive on. It is a huge pain to drive your bike through a lot of different areas in this game. Or even a truck. It is ridiculous. Especially, like, after the first big area where you get roads. Right after that, there's just this rocky expanse where there's no way you're getting across without hitting everything and probably breaking your truck. All right, this cutscene has to play every single time. Your bike gets stopped so they can go, hey, there's BTs here. And then as we get a little bit closer, the shoulder cutscene's going to play to be like, hey, look, there's BTs here. It's like, yep, I know there's BTs here. I passed the ghost stamp that somebody put up. I heard the sound, the music change. Then it made me stop. So then I knew. And then now it's doing it again. Uh, we're going to try and just burn through it, but we're probably going to get stopped because they do this thing right here where they completely stop your bike and then you don't have any choice. Sometimes you can burn through. Sometimes you can't. It's just the way it is. They start knocking all your gear off. We're going to try and knock them off. And then you do this and it's just this every time. And if I don't seem surprised or worried or distracted in any way, it's because I have no need to be. I get over here. We get up enough. We crouch. All right, now our bike is fine. Do, 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 do. We go back to our bike. Also, yeah, we can cut the umbilical cord if we get close enough. It, the prompt is here somewhere. There it is. All right. That BT's gone. Now we get back on the bike. If you don't have the ability to cut the umbilical cord, that's fine too. You can just wait until the BT's moved enough and then get back on your bike again. Do 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 do. Wait, we received likes from the BT? What the heck? All right. And that's why I say it's annoying. It's not a threat. It's not a it's not even really like a problem. It's just there to get in your way. When you get past it, go to the next area. It's it's not a problem at all. Bike battery back up. Cute. And it doesn't need to be there because of how simple it is to circumvent it. If it was more of an issue, sure. But it's not. So like, don't have it then. Just get it out of the out of the way. I know they're there because they're part of the world building and everything, but they'd be far spookier if they were just a part of like boss fights or cutscenes and weren't part of regular play. Because when I can just run away from them like that, like it's nothing, they don't scare me anymore. This is not where I was supposed to deliver this. Hold on. Thought I had a delivery for you. Huh? Don't I have a delivery for you? Oh no, there's a bot delivery to you. I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. In my head, we had different order, but there's a bot delivering that. Do we have any lost stuff? No, this is all the best we have right now. We're not gonna, no, we gotta deliver that stuff. Okay. This is why you should check your cargo menu, but that's even more busy work, so, you know. I do like this game a lot. I think that the, the story is really good, but the gameplay just... Again, if it was just the busy work of checking your, your inventory, of managing your travel, of managing your battery and everything there, I think it'd be fine. But it's not that. It is instead... A lot of driving vehicles along roads that aren't designed for them. Uh, and the answer to that may be, well, you could just make a road. Well, yeah, sure, I could with a bunch of materials that I'm going to have to go gather. How am I going to get those materials? I either have to find them dropped by other players uh, or I have to go get them for mules, which means I have to engage in mule combat, which we're about to do now because they're scanning for us. And I don't want to engage in mule combat. I hate fighting mules, too. 
Speaking of mules. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Okay, I think we're past the mules. So the mules have a shock lance that they can throw. They're incredibly accurate with it. And they can just hit you and stun you and knock you off your bike. And it's a huge pain because then the mules themselves aren't really difficult to take down. You either use your bola gun or if you don't have a bola gun, you just punch them until they're unconscious. It's super easy. Peace. Again, as you can see, it would be like this kind of relaxing journey if I didn't have to put up with this. Because <laughs> I could just go to my destination. I could just make my delivery. It's even more annoying when you're on a time limit. And especially because when you're doing the story deliveries, almost always in the story deliveries, there are moments where your story progression is cut off because you have to go through a BT zone. All right, we're through the BT area. Again, I hope that just blitzing through it like that shows doesn't really need to be there at all. Still got a ways to go. Cause see like this, this gentle travel of like trying to manage how long we're under the time fall and getting out of the time fall and crossing our bridges the way we need to and making our way across and dealing with, uh, oh, there's a shelter over there that'd be really good for restoring time fall durability setting up zip lines to be able to zip to and from places. There's actually like way less zip lines here than I thought there would be, which is unfortunate. I was hoping we could piggyback off some other players' zip lines to uh, get some good distance on ours. Across the river, we're not dealing with that. We may have to set up a generator too for the battery on this thing. We can make it. We're gonna, oh, that, oh, okay. Mm. Well, somebody just built a bridge. <laughs> That's incredibly jarring every time it happens, but I also really appreciate that it happened because there's a shelter on the other side and we can undo some of this time fall damage there. I don't see a generator to get our battery back up either though. We may just make one. Yeah, let's make one. Somebody else could use it over here anyway. Okay. Let's see if we can pass some time in here. Oh, I opened the cargo menu. Uh, this game has that problem where everything is tied to the same buttons for the most part. Pass some time in here. See if the rain has passed. Delivery bot completed in order. The rain has indeed passed. All right, we'll get our bike charged back up again. The time fall is their answer to people building a bunch of stuff and just making the world super easy to traverse for the early game for new players. Hey, now stuff's starting to show up. There's a uh, zip line up there. Go to the wind farm. That's cool. I'm glad there's a zip line up there. Um. I understand that decision to have the the uh, time fall to dispose of the old structures and everything so that new players can have the, the original experience as well. It does in some ways really like feel bad when you spend a lot of time setting up a network for other players and then the time fall just destroys it because nobody else like repaired your buildings and makes me kind of go, yeah, I'm not going to do that, you know? Because why would I? There's no reason to now. Like I said, this is every time. Every single time. I'm jamming on the, the accelerate button right now. Got this one again. Every single time. There's going to be one directly in the path. There's somebody else's bike that got left behind. Because there's going to be one directly in the path. 
as you can see, the road's not really designed for the bikes. Even though I'm boosting. Oh, we were almost free. Come on, man. Oh, come on. We were almost free. All right, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. You got to balance yourself before you can move. Uh, and the more weight you have, the longer it takes to balance yourself. Get off. Also, Lou's getting upset, so we're going to call Lou down in a minute. All right, we'll go around the corner. <gasps> Out of here. Out of here, leave me alone. Knowing Kojima, there's probably something really dumb for if you take out every single uh, BT in the game, cut all their umbilical cords. All right, if we get grabbed again, Lou is going auto toxemia. Yeah, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. No, 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 no. Get off. Get off. I need to help my baby. It's okay, Lou. It's okay, Lou. Don't worry. Get out of this. Got to get out of this. Got to get out of this. No, 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 no. Yeah, Lou went auto toxemic. There's nothing I'm going to be able to do. <sighs> They're just so annoying, man. They're just in the way to slow you down. It's like they just want to force a boss fight on you, you know? When I really don't want a boss fight right now. I just want to make my delivery, man. I just, I just want to make my delivery. And like they put them in this, in this zone here, in this little like tunnel. Cause they know you have to go through here. They know that you do. How many more are right here? Come on. I, I honestly believe the BTs are the worst thing about this game. We still gotta get back to our bike, too. Alright, let's see if we can get Lou fixed up. But Lou's probably too autotoxemic now to be able to do anything with. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, well, I tried. Alright, let's see if we can get our bike. We should just cut their cords too, just for the sake of it. Just to get it out of the way. Another one here too. Go. All right. Oh, and another one. Come on, man. Get off my back. Oh, is the one that's over here by my bike still here? Mm, yep. Do do do. Do do do. There's another one too. I guess every time it's mother and child, right? I killed four, five BTs, six BTs, maybe? Can I just go? 
How many BTs are there right there? Come on, man. All right, yeah, and Lou is, Lou is, oh, come on, man. It hurt my bond with Lou. <sighs> I hate this. This is why I can't recommend this game to people. It's because of how terrible the combat is. Like this, this should just be like a, a nice delivery game. It's all it had to be. It didn't need to be anything different. Also, the bike is taking a bunch of damage with every one of those jumps. It, just, it upsets me, man, because I, I can see how close this game is to being something that I would absolutely adore. Whereas instead, it's a game that I will play to get the story and probably uninstall very soon. We'll make our delivery. We'll rest in our room so that Lou gets better, and then we'll call it. I probably should just let them grab me and pull me into a boss fight just so I could get away from them faster. Because you can trigger a boss fight and then just run out of the radius of the boss fight. And the boss fight resolves as if you killed them. But in my head, I was just going to boost past them and it all would have been fine. Got a delivery for you. Take it. Normally I skip these cutscenes because of how annoying they are when you see them in repetition. But we'll let it play this time. Gotta check the cargo to make sure it's good. Same way I get everything everywhere, buddy. In our reward screen and you have to go through every single package you deliver and again like if you didn't have to go through combat i think this part especially since you can auto skip i think this part would be fine because that's the reward you get right for for making your delivery safe and sound it's just that because of the annoyingness of the combat and like lou needs to get i need to rest so that lou gets auto toxemin away it's just like, okay, can we move along, please, so I can get back to, to doing the things that I have to do. Whereas otherwise, it would just be like, okay, yeah, this is this is cool stuff. Okay. We have more bandwidth. Thank you. More materials we can get now. That is another way to get materials, too, is to claim them, but you can only have so many at a time. A bot delivery. How did he do? Uh, cargo was extremely damaged. Uh, he made it in the delivery time, though. Made both. Yeah, the damage was way too high. Sorry, bot. I wish the bots could get better as they go. And then this is kind of worthless. Like, the individual levels are nice because they give you stats. But, like, what is the point of my grade? My master transporter grade? All right. All right. Now I'm a great transporter. New challenges await me as a courier, however. Uh, this is the, the stats are the important part. Now with bridge link grade 60, a sync level with other players is increased by 10%, which means stuff will show up more often in my world. Uh, I can make more strand contracts. I can make more cooperation requests. And I can send more likes. Cool. Playtime, we're at 40 hours. Uh, bad, bad. Thanks, that's where I'm going. What do I still have on my back? Oh, the lost cargo, the old books, right? Yeah. Let's do those. Deliver those real quick. I wish I could have delivered it all at once, but that's not how the game works. We're skipping it. And then 
that's what it looks like when you skip. <laughs> there we go. All right. That's where we're going. Don't worry, Lou. Yeah, I think this game had a lot of potential when it comes to the gameplay with the delivery. I think the delivering and setting up uh, ladders and ropes and bridges and zip lines, all of that's super satisfying and like making a pathway to get from across the entire map to be able to make your deliveries, that's really cool. I think that's all really the game needed and then the story and it would have been it would have been probably in my top five for the year. Um, as it is, it's currently fighting for spot 10 with a couple other games. Uh, because I do really enjoy the story. But no matter how much I love delivering stuff in this game, when I have to deliver it around mules and BTs, I just, I can't bring myself to do it. It's just so annoying. But with all that said, I've been Trey. It's been the Full Spectrum. Remember to always enjoy the Full Spectrum. Death Stranding has to offer.